Hi everyone, in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make this super simple and inexpensive room and linen spray. If you're familiar with my channel already, then you know that I typically make freshy videos. And I know this doesn't seem freshy related, but since it can be marketed as a vehicle spray or a car freshener, it is actually a great addition to your product line if you already make freshies. This is also a bit of a segue into some of my future videos where I'm going to be showing you how to make additional products to potentially add to your line that are also fragrance related. So let's start by talking about what you'll need for this room spray. First, you will need your digital kitchen scale. You will need a bottle of your choosing, any size that you would like. This one is a little bit larger it's more suited for home sprays like room and linen sprays if you are wanting to make a car freshener spray i would suggest getting a smaller bottle than this this is an eight ounce a four or a two ounce would probably be better for a vehicle because nobody wants to tote around a large spray bottle in their car now if you want to know exactly how many weighted ounces of fluid you can fit in your bottle you're simply going to remove the lid, place the bottle on your scale, tear your scale back to zero, fill your bottle with regular water to the fill line that you would like, place it back on the scale and it will weigh just the amount of liquid you have. And then you'll know for your recipe how many ounces of room spray you'll need to fill the size and the amount of bottles that you have. I did get this one at Dollar Tree. They have several different colors of these. I loved this finish. It's a really pretty kind of rose gold type color. They do have gold and I believe a red color and silver. So for $1.25, that was a pretty good deal. And I love the size and the fact that it has a trigger spray and not a pump spray. Your main ingredient will be distilled water. We're using 92% in this recipe. So this is really um, the main ingredient that you'll be using. This was a dollar and 11 cents for this whole gallon. Next, you'll need your fragrance oil. This could be any oil of your choosing. There's no particular kind that you have to get specifically. And for this recipe, I am going to be using 5% fragrance. Next, I've got polysorbate 20. This is an emulsifier. What this does is it bonds the oil and the water. So we all know that oil and water don't mix. If you did not use this, then your fragrance oil is just going to sit at the top of your water and not mix with the water. So you could spray it and you're just gonna get water out of your spray bottle unless you add this, which will completely combine the oil and the water together. So each spray is um, has an even distribution of oil. For this recipe, I'm going to be using 2% polysorbate 20, and I will link this in the description. Last, we have the preservative. This one is sorbic acid plus 2PF. Anything, any water-based product could have a tendency of molding, even if you're using distilled water. So this is, especially if you plan on selling this, this is a really good idea. You really don't want any type of bacteria or mold growing in the room sprays that you are selling to customers. For home use, if you know you're gonna go through an entire bottle within a month, like I often do, you can skip this. But if you are gonna have product on the shelf for any given amount of time before it's potentially sold, or you don't know how long the customer is going to let it sit before getting through the entire bottle, this is really important. I will also link this in the description and I am using this preservative at 1% for this recipe. Last thing I would like to mention is that for the purpose of this video, it's strictly demonstration just to show you how I do it. I am doing a small batch, so I'm pouring directly into the bottle. If you we're going to be filling multiple bot bottles and doing a large batch. I suggest having a measuring cup or a glass beaker where you're mixing everything together and then you can pour it into the separate bottles. Doing it one bottle at a time would be really time consuming um, and you, it doesn't have to be. You can mix 32 ounces all together in a larger container and then pour it into your separate bottles. 
Also, if you are making these for purchase, then I would suggest wearing gloves and keeping your workspace very clean. I'm not wearing gloves in the video because like I said, this is just demonstration purposes and this will be for home use. But for purchase, you wanna make sure that everything is nice, clean, and sanitary. So wear your gloves and make sure your workspace is very clean. First thing I'm going to add is my preservative. Again, I am putting in 1%. 1% of eight ounces comes to 0 0.08 ounces. Now my scale doesn't go down that low, so I'm just gonna round it up to 0 0.1 ounces and I'm gonna add that now. Next, I'm adding my polysorbate 20. And like I said earlier, I am doing this at 2%. And that actually for eight ounces comes out to 0.16. But again, my scale doesn't go down that low. So I will just be rounding it up to 0.2. Next, I'm adding my fragrance oil, and this recipe calls for 5%. And 5% of eight ounces comes out to 0.4 ounces. Next, I'm adding my distilled water at 92%, which comes out to be 7.3 ounces. Once you've added all of your ingredients, you can just put the lid back on the bottle and give it a good shake. It is a good idea to let this settle for about 24 hours just to make sure that everything is well combined and mixed up. But other than that, you're done here. The last thing it would need is a label, which you should include the ingredients and the net weight. As always, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.